Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie and in this episode we are finally ready to get our feet wet. Here in Jolly Rogers Bay. I said feats, but that actually makes sense because there is Banjo and Kazooie going underwater and also I made a mistake, but yes, this is pretty much the majority of Jolly Rogers Bay is being underwater and I don't actually think it's a bad thing. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite water levels. If only the egg aiming controls were slightly better, it'd be almost perfect, but yeah. They're not, so things are going to get a little weird, and yeah, we just had to dispatch some of those uh, sea anemones because, well, they're guarding notes, and you know, they're, they'll be alright, but yes, oh my gosh, I love this area so much, so very much. How well I'll do in it uh, has yet to be determined, though, but we're going to find out, and I need to shoot this octopus's vitals, and is blocking my shots rather successfully. Oh my gosh, dude! There we go, gosh, <laughs> that is not supposed to be that hard, man, it wastes like almost all my eggs for crying out loud, but... Yeah, once you've defeated that guy temporarily, welcome to the lost city of Atlanta! Atlantis, it's underwater, man, it's a pretty cool place. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot to do here, but first things first, I gotta grab my war pack, come on! And yeah, the first thing we actually wanna knock out is we want to, okay. I can remember that. It's a pretty easy pattern is uh, look on that door and we're going to notice that these mermaids are holding pots that uh, mirror the Roman, actually uh, Greek alphabet letters. I need to listen here just to make sure I'm actually hitting them uh, on these mermaid things. So we need to hit the code exactly as they appear. Let's go for the Omega. Oh, Omega's like the only one I know, and it's like, oh yes, that's Omega. Oh, I'm very culture. <laughs> it's like, dude, shut up. That one didn't go in. Isn't that Epsil Ep Epsilon, though, is the E? And of course, these are Delta. I mean, how could you forget that, right? Always fly Delta. I don't really know why. It just always happens to be the cheapest. <laughs> but yes, with that, we now have access to the main temple of Atlantis. But before we go in there, we should probably knock this guy's uh, eyeball off. Yeah. So we can get the cleft note, and I think that's almost all of our notes. All we need to do is get some that are like right over there, but we'll get those eventually. And I'm gonna try my best, guys, to actually like not always be in the aiming mode, which the aiming mode is way easier to swim in in some scenarios, but it's not the funnest to see really, and it can kind of make you nauseous. So I'm gonna try not to do that for as long as I can. And hello there. Oh hi, I'm Chris. Chris. All right, pig-like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. I see. <laughs> Everyone's name's a pun. And what are you doing, Mr. Bacon? <laughs> I'm working on my new movie, a uh, foot. No, okay, just trolling. <laughs> yeah, those guys down here checking out paintings. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But there's awful fish keep attacking me. When I get a spear gun. <laughs> this camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead. Eh, yeah, sure, why not, Mr. <laughs> United Kingdom <laughs> trousers, and right then, you could just follow me down. Okay, sure, no problem. Now, this is kind of like a mini game where you have to defend this pig dude. It's not that hard. It's it's pretty simple, actually, and okay. Gonna get in a position. All you have to do is just keep shooting eggs and make sure, you know, this, it doesn't get hit. You have plenty of time, so yeah, just be a little diligent, and you can actually shoot through the pig, so that's a nice little tip, but mainly what I like to do, I like to just go back and forth and make sure that mm, they're not coming. And you have plenty of time before they actually reach the cave. And hopefully you have the cheat, unless you have, it, not infinite eggs, oh man, that'd be handy. But uh, a lot of eggs, because you might use a lot of eggs and, you know, refilling your eggs and giving them back to Kazooie. Probably gonna eat up a lot of time, so you don't want to do that. I mean, I like the music. Just very frantic, almost Jaws-like, even though it's totally not Jaws, I'm, I saw that one. Yeah, we're gonna try and shoot through the, uh, pig, somehow that makes sense, and... Yeah, it's not too terribly difficult. I mean, it's, it's at least suspenseful, though, so it's not like a total snore fest, but... If you, if you just sit in one place and you have enough eggs, it's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna say that and totally jinx myself and fail this, watch, watch that happen, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's <laughs> make sure that actually didn't bite me in the button. Hey, we did it! I think that'll do. I'm off back to the surface, and I'm gonna dance my pants off. Oh, uh, okay. Have fun with that, dude. Huh. You ever think, like, maybe the fishes are just like, I gotta get this guy out of the cage! Don't worry, I'm helping you! <laughs> I got all the shots I need. Perhaps this thing I found early might interest you. 
Well, how about that? Isn't that convenient? <laughs> and yes, we'll get our second Jiggy of Jolly Roger Bay. The thing about this place is there's actually a lot of uh, Jiggies that we can't get right now. And we're gonna actually, actually come back, which isn't too big a deal, I guess. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, so now we only have five more Jiggies to go. So let's get started and hustle, boy, and try and get some of them. And Oh, okay. I didn't actually notice this before, but there's a... Uh, transparent fish? I don't think that's the right way to say that necessarily, but yeah. We can see through that guy, and he has something that we want, which is obviously that Jiggy. Now, how are we going to get it from him? Well, that is the fun part. As I grab these notes, I believe that'll put us, if not at the note goal, it'll get us close. So that might be 100. I'm not too sure, but really quickly. Let us come in here so we can get that Jiggy from that see-through fish, and this is the last ability that we're going to learn here. It's a pretty handy skill, I'm not going to lie, and you pretty much need it to beat the game, so you should probably grab it from Jim Jarm. What do you got for me this time, buddy? <laughs> Lift your rat launches, bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. I thought I was going to say turd. <laughs> and yes. We can now shoot Kazooie out into the water. God dang it. You keep doing that, Jam Jar. Get a hold of yourself, man. Jeez. Yeah, take your head. But yeah, this is going to help us in a lot of different scenarios in this game. And most importantly, yeah, to get those. Uh, get away from the eels. Uh, get away, get away. Uh, I don't want to touch you guys. Get out of here. Gosh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now that we have that, we can actually do a couple things. I'm going to try my best to do this on the first trial. But yeah, just press the trigger. And try to navigate uh, Kazooie. You have a very limited time to do this, and oh my gosh, where did it go? Where did... Okay. And yeah, Kazooie goes really stinking fast, but we got it. And when you're done, just press the X button. And that was a little a little tricky, I'll give you that. <laughs> but yeah, so now that we have that, we can open up a lot of doors, which is its primary use, I guess, but we're eventually going to find uh, more of those transparent fishes. And they have a honeycomb. I, I think a Cheeto page? I want to say that, yeah, there's a Cheeto page, but I don't really know. And yeah, their locations are randomized, so you gotta watch out for that. So just because that's where I found mine doesn't mean that's what you're find yours, basically. That's what that means. And yeah, now that we have this uh, torpedo attack... Let's actually use it on this door right here because we're going to do a really, really easy mini game. Well, not really mini game, I guess, but we're going to grab another Jiggy and it's going to be Child's Place. Let's head inside the UFO from Independence Day. Do -do -do -do. Oh, no, not really, but yeah, there's some aliens in here. How's it going? Greetings, feeble earthlings. Wow, real aliens. Are any of you called Elvis? <laughs> no, we're Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. We're also in Beta for Fix. Let me guess, you need a phone home. <laughs> no, we have cell phones for that, and grid coverage. The drive unit on our ship has run out of fuel, and it's powered by crystallized ice. We don't have any. I'm sure we'll be able to sort something out. Yeah, maybe. You scratch my back, you scratch- A Jinjo! Yeah, it's a ninja. <laughs> but I just wanted to act surprised, because basically that could not be a Jinjo, because, yeah, these guys aren't going to stay here for too much longer. What I like to do is I like to, like, set my sights up perfectly, and then just go left and right. You can power up all the crystals, but you have a time limit. Ooh, so it's not too difficult, I guess, honestly. It'd be a lot easier if you could properly aim, though. I don't think anyone could deny that, and a lot of aliens in this game, you know, these guys kind of creep me out when I was a little kid. Like, a lot of things in my life, and a lot of phobias, and oh man, they're going crazy now. Thank you, Earthling, Baron Bird. Now please exit our ship, as we need to leave. We're running late for dinner. <laughs> or any chance of a reward? We landed on a shiny thing. You may have that. Hopefully it's what you need and not just, you know, what if it was just like a <laughs> sticking power star and Banjo's be like, oh, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Because <laughs> that would be fun, I got to trade it. But yeah, they don't give us a Jiggy directly. They kind of just move their ship and main drive engaged. Activating nav scanners. Strange glowing lights on. All systems are go. Now let's get out of this awful earthling water and find the kids. Wait, what? You guys have kids? They may eject it somewhere over a snowy mountain. Hmm, freeze easy peek. Mm, no, probably not. Something different. I, mean, I don't know why. I just really like this cutscene, too. It's like, all right. That, no, thank God no one was outside to see that. They probably crapped his pants. <laughs> and yeah, we shouldn't forget to grab our 
Uh, Jiggy, where the heck? Oh yeah, there it is. It's just in a hole in the ground. It ain't no, it ain't no thing to figure out where to get it. It's real easy. And oh my gosh, where is the camera going? <laughs> I mean, okay, the camera isn't perfect, but it's not horrible either. So now that we grabbed that, let's head back to Atlanta. I keep calling it that. Ugh, I'm not. The first time it was a joke. I swear. I swear. And now it's just like that Futurama episode has been engraved into my mind. I can't get it out, dude. <laughs> but yeah, let's head back here, and I'm on the lookout. Oh yeah, there's only one of those fishes in here. And this this uh, building, it's not really too useful. We'll have a use for it when we come back, actually. But not right now, so now I need to think, where is the honeycomb here? I know there... Oh, I think that's right there. There should be like a little hole in the wall with a honeycomb. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Now that we have that, all we gotta do is locate the seaweed uh, sanctuary, I think it's called, which should be right over here. We're making pretty good progress. A common complaint with this level is like you just get lost way too easily, and I, I can honestly see that. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's the most perfect level ever, but as far as like, you know, water levels goes in like the early 2000s era of gaming, this one's pretty good. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. It's definitely better than a lot of levels in some of my favorite games that have water. God dang it. How did I, how did I forget I had to do that? Blech, whatever, but yeah, this is the seaweed place and there's seaweed. Fantastic commentating, John. Man, yeah, I could not infer this without your on point analysis. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm making fun of myself, man. Gosh, I mean, you gotta think about how long a Let's Play is. Eventually, you're gonna say some stupid things. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I like overanalyze, I guess. Like, yeah, oh, you don't say. It. <laughs> I guess you guys don't mind too much. If memory serves me right, this should be one of our last. Is this the last purple one? No, oh, okay, we have like one more to go. That's surprising. I felt like, huh, where is he? I'm very curious. It's interesting how we've gotten so many of just one color of Jinjo so quickly and really fast. I'm going to stock up on some more normal eggs to make sure, yeah, I'm pretty lacking in that. No, well, I guess we'll grab those too. So this is a very interesting area. Basically, there's one thing to do, and it involves a giant fish, and I'm going to need a lot of grenade eggs to take that guy down. And hopefully, since I have the code, that will be a little easier. First things first. Oh, no, there he is. And okay, that uh, see-through fish only has uh, egg refills, which I might actually take him up on the offer. But yeah, we have to shoot all the teeth out of this giant fish. It's a lot harder than it looks because you actually have to hit legit the fish. There's no room for... Oh, whoa! <laughs> kind of scared me. I'm not even kidding. Ugh. But uh, yeah, you have to hit like directly on the tooth. It can't just be like, you know, a splash damage effect. It has to be right on it, you know, so... It's a little bit hard to do on your first try. Oh my gosh, John, you almost had that. Oh, John, you almost had that one too. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we can enter inside the fish. That apparently ate that guy's girlfriend and yeah like it was just called the big fish well that is a pretty oh my gosh this place looks gross i remember like loving this place because it reminded me of jonah and the whale but look how like ugh. this place is almost too detailed for a kid's game man gosh what's wrong with rareware no wow we actually got the okay that's crazy and we got the last purple jinjo we have way more jiggies then I had my practice file because like we just got the light Jinjo and Witchy World and then we just got that one. So I'm like two ahead, which is kind of crazy and Hello there. Oh, uh, you both be the rescue party. Uh, only if the price is right. <laughs> I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was that one guy, Blubber's Bow. Wait, wait, wait. When it's fifth, knock me off. That's why me hole. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's so lovely. I'll soon be happy out with the inn, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Mm, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. All right, and g goodbye, lady. I don't know what you're supposed to be. I guess like a goldfish or something. Huh. It's kind of <laughs> interesting relationship. A frog and a fish. Never really seen that before. But yeah, that's actually all we have to do in here. We can't get our jiggy as a reward until we actually go see Jolly Roger, so can't really do much about that. And then, really, if you got the Jinjo, you're pretty much done here. That's all you really had to do. You know, it's a minor part of the level, but you know, it adds a little bit of flair, and I like it. I especially like how we exit the fish, it's just like, <gasps> So can you make that O face in like a text message? It's literally just that, but yeah, I think 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna grab the uh, warp pad for the next area, and then I'm gonna end this episode off because I think we accomplished a little bit. You know, there's not actually too much to this level once you kind of do that. And I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not 100% on this, but you know, we have the warps just in case. Oh, I gotta get closer. There we go. Nice. Helps a little bit if you give yourself a little bit of momentum. But if I recall correctly. This should take us, yes, to one of my favorite parts in all of gaming, and that fish has nothing in him. What about the other one? Oh, he has the honeycomb. Well, I'm going to try and grab that. Actually, I'm going to make sure to kill this dude. I don't want to deal with him right now. And, oh, man, we're really going to need more grenade eggs. For, oh, man, that was more of it, but we're going to need more grenade eggs for what I have to do next. I need to grab some of those, probably in between the episodes, but yes, I got it. Heck yeah. That is another honeycomb. Now we have all of them, and I am super excited about that. But yes, this is a very cool part of the game. And, hmm. Interesting. That name seems vaguely familiar. <laughs> I'll stop being a turd. In the next episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we're going to the world's end. We're going once I find it. Let me find it real quick. Yeah, going. To Davy Jones Locker. <laughs> so, see you guys in the next episode. Bye.